Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you 5 free effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. The hologram effect. So first of all go with your video clip into fusion. Now I want to remove the background of my person. So press shift and spacebar and search for magic mask. Select magic mask and press add. And if you don't got the studio version just use runwayml.com for free. But I will use the magic mask so I start with masking. And I hit this button. Alright, now the person is masked out and I go to match. Then increase the blur. Now again press shift and space by the same time and search for TV. Select TV and press add. Go to the inspector and increase the amplitude to about 0.5. Then go to your first frame. Create a keyframe at the offset value. And go to your last frame and increase your offset a little bit. So now as you can see we created this wavy effect. Ok, now go to noise and decrease the power to zero. Because before we had some noise in here as you can see. And we don't want this noise and that's why it's zero. Then go to roll bar. Now increase the bar strength to one. Then look at the roll bar. So maybe you'll find it right here. So I changed the offset value a little bit. And I decrease the size. Then again go to the first frame of your clip. Set the bar offset value to 100 and create a keyframe and go to the last frame of your clip and change it to 0. So now as you can see the bar is going from the top to the bottom. Alright now select your TV node and press shift and space by the same time and search for glow. Select glow and press add. Then decrease the glow value a little bit to around 0.65. Then again press shift and space by the same time and search for shadow. Select shadow and press add. Now increase the softness to its maximum. And again press shift and space by the same time and search for DVE. Select DVE and press add. So now this node is optional so you don't have to use it. But if you want to use it you can change the rotation X and Y values to your liking. So as you can see this looks way more 3D as before. Ok that's it for this effect. But now we want to move on to the next effect, the face tracker effect. Again go into fusion, press shift and space by the same time and search for tracker. Select tracker and press add. Now drag the tracker on top of the person's eye. Then make sure you are at the first frame of your clip and hit this button to start tracking. Alright now the tracking is done and go to operation and change the operation from none to match move. Then go to merge and change it to background only. Now just drag and drop a transform node into the node field and increase the size so that we no longer see these parts of the video. Alright now it looks like this. Ok let's continue with the luma here edge detect effect. So again go into fusion and press shift and space by the same time. Search for luma here. Select this luma here and press add. Now just unselect the luma here node by pressing the left mouse button and shift at the same time and connect your media in one node with the luma here node. Ok now select your luma here node and again press shift and space by the same time. Search for edge detect. Select edge detect and press add. Ok now connect the edge detect node with the media in one node. And now a merge node has been created. Ok now go to this point where the effect should start. So in my case that's the starting point. Ok then go to your luma here node and increase the low slider to its maximum. Then create a keyframe, go some frames to the right, decrease the low value to 0 and again go some frames to the right and increase the low to 1. Now the effect should look like this. And now I want to change the edge detect effect a little bit so I go to edge detect, I decrease the edge width, I increase the brightness and I increase the blur. Of course you can adjust these settings to your liking. And I tick the edge mask overlay box. Alright now it looks like this. But now let's continue with the next effect the paper edge effect. So for this effect you need to duplicate your clip by pressing alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then go with the upper clip into fusion. And now I want to isolate this person. So you can do this either with runwayml.com or with the magic mask. So I will use the magic mask and I press shift and space by the same time and I search for magic mask. Then I go to the first frame in which I will see this person and I draw a mask around my person. 
Now DaVinci has masked out some wrong parts, so I go to the subtract mode and I select the wrong parts. Okay, now I hit this track forward button and I increase the blur a little bit. Then go to effects, go to templates and search for paper edge. Then just left click the paper edge effect. Now go into the inspector and increase the border a little bit. You can also change the color as well as the edge contrast and roughness. Then I go to the first frame of my magic mask and I decrease the edge intensity to zero. Create a keyframe. Also add a keyframe at the edge randomize value. Then go to the last frame of your magic mask. So this should be the last frame and increase the edge intensity and change the edge randomize value to your liking. Now go back into the edit page and the result looks like this. And now let's continue with the last effect, the dotted halftone comic effect. So for this effect go into fusion and drag and drop a background node into the node field. Then connect the background node with the media in one node and change the background color to white. Then go to your merge node and change the apply mode from normal to screen and the operator from over to mask. Now drag and drop an ellipse node into the node field and connect the ellipse node with the background node. Now I want to see what's happening right here, so I select this button and go with your ellipse node into the inspector and change the soft edge to around 0.3. Also change the width and height to 0.45. And now press Ctrl Z and Ctrl Shift V to create an instance. So this instance node is like a clone of your ellipse node. Now go with this instance node into the inspector and right click the center X and center Y values. Select the instance and change the position to 0 and 1. Now again select your ellipse node, press Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V. Again the instance to center X and center Y values and change it to 1 and 1. And again press Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift and V. Then the instance these values and change the center X and center Y values to 0. And again, press Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V, the instance, the center X, center Y values, and change the values to 1 and 0. Then just select your background node and press Shift and Space by the same time. Search for Transform. Select Transform and press Add. Now change the size to 0 0.008 and change the edges from Canvas to Wrap. So if you want, you can also change the angle of these dots a little bit. And now the effect looks like this. Alright, these were my top 5 effects for DaVinci Resolve. So I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos. And thanks for the support and thanks to all channel members. Stay creative and bye.